Palm oil was traded in ancient Africa before the age of the pyramids and Cleopatra. It is native to equatorial West Africa. The oil found its way to Europe, while the seeds moved to South America via the slave trade and to Southeast Asia on European ships in the 19th century. In Southeast Asia's abundant sunshine and rain, oil palms thrived. From the 1960s, boosted by modern farming techniques and a need for rural development, palm oil production has grown by more than 20 times. That kind of progress is almost unheard of in the history of agriculture. Today, over 6 million people work in the palm oil industry. While palm oil is produced in the tropics, it is consumed all over the world. This perennial cash crop contributes almost 30% of the world's supply of vegetable oil production and is critical to the world's economy. Palm oil is the most productive edible oil crop on the planet, yielding more oil per hectare than any other. However, this rise in production has been accompanied by serious costs. To satisfy the growing demand of the world in general and India and China in particular, palm oil's expansion has hurt the environment and communities. The industry stands accused of slash and burn agriculture, clearing rainforests, causing forest fires, destroying the natural habitat of the orangutan and displacing indigenous communities. These tensions cried out for a common way forward and resulted in the formation of the Round Table on Sustainable Palm Oil, RSPO. We felt this was time to show Although we have been sustainable, because we have been in existence for 100 years, the oil palm industry, but how can we do it better? We can develop principles and criteria to ensure palm oil is produced sustainably. In 2001, informal dialogue among a group of companies along with WWF led to a series of meetings. The first roundtable meeting on sustainable palm oil was held in Kuala Lumpur in 2003. RSPO was established formally in 2004. It is registered in Zurich, has a secretariat in Kuala Lumpur and a satellite office in Jakarta. The organization works through consensus and open dialogue to bring diverse stakeholders to common ground. To date, five annual roundtable meetings and numerous working sessions have been held and RSPO is working with all players to create a greener and more sustainable tomorrow. Its guiding principles signify the continuous ongoing efforts that are required from all stakeholders. So, what sustainability practices is RSPO encouraging? Planting of high-yielding varieties of the crop to maximize returns from inputs like water and fertilizer. This is done by using only the most productive mother palm trees to produce hybrid seeds. Use of buffaloes to transport fresh fruit bunches, reducing fossil fuel energy usage and minimizing soil compaction. Management of waste at the milling stage for natural fertilizer. Integrated pest control using natural predators to manage pests and diseases and minimize crop losses. Leguminous crop cultivation to add nitrogen to the soil and protect it from the elements. Zero burn replanting in which all palms are chipped and recycled to improve soil health and reduce use of inorganic fertilizers. An energy efficient extraction process where the waste and effluent is converted to biomass and biogas. These processes can yield natural fertilizer too. Advocating safety at work and providing adequate health care to workers. Promoting the protection of biodiversity. Sustaining local communities and the education of children. These measures are common among bigger producers. 
But RSPO also recognizes the importance of smallholders who produce 40% of the total crop and who have limited resources. RSPO has formed a task force to address this. I think with the many crises that the world is facing these days, such as the water crisis, biodiversity loss, species loss, and of course climate change, more and more people are becoming more, uh, becoming more aware and more concerned about the situation. While other agricultural industries seek superficial green solutions, it is clear to many that sustainable palm oil could be a path-breaking and historic effort that is a beacon of hope and inspiration. How do you know the palm oil you buy is environmentally sustainable? RSPO has initiated a series of certifications to guide the industry. RSPO Certified Sustainable Palm Oil is available through four supply chain mechanisms, namely Identity Preserved, Segregation, Mass Balance and Book and Claim. The certification is carried out by independent accredited certification bodies. RSPO certification is stringent. Each and every mill is individually audited and certified. To ensure credibility throughout the supply chain, RSPO has introduced supply chain certification. Today, the first batch of RSPO certified palm oil is being shipped and the demand for sustainable palm oil is growing rapidly worldwide. RSPO recognizes that change doesn't happen overnight but will be the result of the enthusiastic and unceasing effort of its many members. The global momentum towards sustainable agriculture is building. As workers set off to work in the RSPO plantation, they knowingly and unknowingly are part of RSPO, striving to create a more sustainable future. And as the journey gathers momentum, RSPO could develop into a historic example for the world to emulate. Today, production and trade in sustainable palm oil is a reality.
pertama tadi. Selamat tahun pertama sekali, uh, saya beri ini pertama dan selamat tahun. Dari ciri-ciri keselamatan sama ada kita bekerja waktu awal pagi sampailah pulang ke tempat rumah dengan keadaan selamat dan selesa. Begitu juga bila dia keluar dan sebagainya kan. Minyak mentah kita pasal sampai ke luar negara kan. Sebenarnya minyak setiap buah yang kita yang kita tuai, yang kita hantar tu kan. Semua ada kualiti-kualiti yang baik. Macam mana kalau kita nak dapat hal uh, macam SRSPO certification? CCJ. Oh, CCJ. Uh, uh, kita men- uh, banyak menepati CCJ lah kan. CCJ SPO ni, keselamatan ni dia tu. Seperti untuk tapi untuk kedatangan orang utama hmm. kerja keselamatan berbalik ada tak insiden kemalangan berlaku hmm. berlaku dalam ladang untuk hmm. alis 10 ni kita ada pula kita kuasa dia hmm. dan sebagainya kan ha, kita kuasa dia sesuatu benda yang berlaku tu dia akan siasat lah kita kuasa punca di mana kelemahan hmm. daripada daripada pekerja sendiri ataupun daripada majikan sendiri hmm. ha,